all heard of these things called incubators, accelerators, Y combinators, whatever it is. So they're all the rage. We can talk about how much of a bubble that is. But I, I like joining bubbles, and uh, the students all wanted the bubble to inflate at Texas. So there are 10 incubators, roughly, in Austin, but none on campus. And the students are slothful, and they don't slough. I like that. But you should have heard. So we got the space two blocks from campus, and the complaints started. It was two blocks from campus. They wanted to know what the bus schedule was. <laughs> so we started looking. Uh, the first idea of this came from Johnny Butler, a professor of business, who, whose idea for a long time has been to have a hatchery on campus. The first thing I did was convince him that we shouldn't call it a hatchery. <laughs> because startups don't think of, uh, you know, entrepreneurs don't think of themselves as baby chickens. So, so Johnny got us started, and Kyle Cox, who's sitting right there, he actually stumbled across this floor, the seventh floor of 1616 Guadalupe which had just been vacated by the UT system, and it is slated to be occupied by the electrical engineers when they tear down our building in a year or two. That is, I'm slated to move into this space. But there it was, and it was empty. Kyle found it, and then we decided to go through channels, and we went to the, went to the um, provost, who's in charge of most of the space, uh, most of the space not counting the athletic department. And, he, and uh, we pointed out this space, and he said, sure, why don't you use that? But you, you have to promise me that you'll only use it through the end of May, May 31st, and that you will not ask me to continue <laughs> after May 31st. So guess what we're doing now? We're looking for new space, and it has to be at least one, uh, closer than one block from campus to make So uh, I think it was just such an obviously good idea, and Johnny Butler had been working on it for, you know, building enthusiasm for it. And then, and then Kyle found it, and then we asked the provost, provost's office, what's his name, Dan? Dean Les uh, Leslie. No, 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 the guy you asked. It was uh, Dean Leslie. No, it was his space guy who said oh, yes. Oh, uh, <laughs> who was that? Uh, Is it Dan? Anyway, uh, I had lunch with the provost the other day, and he, there's a space guy there, and he's the one who sent the email saying you can have the space, and then the students. We now have 27 startups, UT student startups, in this space on uh, 1616. We don't have enough furniture. If anyone has any furniture, we're lacking furniture. Uh, and on May 31, the, the, uh, the, 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 the time could shine and you could be out on the street. Right? Well, it's a camp. It's just like a startup. It's a camp. It's just like a startup. And, um, but I, I insist on calling it a camp so no one would think we're going to stay there forever. I guess we're not, because I promised the provost that we would not stay there. But, but knowing UT, everything will run late, so we're not. I promise not to ask. <laughs>